Hey everybody, you are tuned in to another Fremat podcast as I put my hat on for dramatic effect. We are talking about Arizona. I was hoping to, uh, for some reason, roll into some type of a joke. I didn't. I'll put the hat on instead. Um, ooh, oh yeah. Uh, y'all didn't know the Fremat podcast. I am, uh, Matt Fremat. Sometimes called Mogadishu Matt. Doesn't matter if you want to or not. I'll say it anyway. Ooh, yeah. Uh, usually libertarian roundtable discussion. Usually have a topic or an article. I also usually have a uh, co-host, the one and only General Patrick Flynn. He is not available. He is tending to his own matters. i probably see him uh, possibly tomorrow. I, uh, I will send you his well wishes. I'll send you his well wishes. But he sends you his well wishes right now. And instead of me stumbling all over myself trying to remember that one. All right, folks. Today's today's topic, before I stumble around anymore, it was voting restrictions. And I believe the Supreme Court came back and uh, upheld the case uh, on the side of Arizona and their voting uh, restrictions. Um, I don't, I know the history of voting restrictions, and this was around the civil rights era, and I think there was liter- literacy test, that's real fun to say, literacy test, there were all sorts of tests that were used, and uh, not, uh, there's the rules in using these were uh, not cemented very well, and they were, and basically they were used to keep, uh, it was uh, black folks, uh, African Americans, black folks, in the South from voting. Um, I think people mistaken my desire for making voting harder with some sympathy with the old uh, South regime, regime, the liberal, uh, the sheet heads or anything like that. My purpose in wanting to restrict voting is I think a lot of people, no matter what color, Read background religion shouldn't be voting. There's a lot of idiots amongst me in Alabama, and these are you know every everyday uh, white folks and rednecks, um, hicks, cousin lovers. There's black folks that probably shouldn't be voting. There's um, you know there's uh, Mexicans. There's there's all sorts of people, uh, Americans of all sorts that shouldn't be voting, and. If you ask me, I was like, I I think there's people around me of, of my background that shouldn't be voting either. And here's the irony. A lot of them don't. A lot of people don't vote. And people ask me, they're like, well, it's logistics. It's hard to get off of work. They can't get to the polls. They can't do this. They don't have a ride. And I think that voting should be a challenge for everyone. Should be for white folks, should be for all sorts of folks, Americans. Uh, you, uh, I'm not saying, uh, I, I've actually made the argument about uh, citizenship that voting, voting, they ought to make it harder to be able to vote. And this is for all people. Um, I, uh, they, they mentioned ranked choice voting and how that's coming around, and I look forward to it in my area especially. I think it's a challenge, and I think people, it's a challenge to see if you're smart enough to be able to fill out a ballot. And and you know what? It's, it's something I think a fifth or sixth grader should be able to do. The irony is, if you can't handle that, maybe you shouldn't vote. And, um, ooh, something else that I... I, I there, there's a cross section of people in my home state. If you look at most primaries, our turnout is abysmally low, and this is for the most part a Republican uh, majority state, except for there's maybe three or four cities. Um, the the and those are bigger cities. Uh, bear with me, but the 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 weirdest thing of this is that. When it comes to primaries, there's uh, there's never, I mean, I'm not going to say never, but there's abysmally low turnout if there's not a general election connected to it. 
people do show up for the general elections. They show up for the presidential election, even though the Electoral College <laughs> and some of you are, you see where I'm getting with this one. If it's a state election, it's a little bit lower. That's without the general. If there's a special election, it's even lower. Runoffs are abysmally low. And there's been plenty of times where I voted in a runoff when there's only a handful of people, and most of the people in my state couldn't even be bothered. And I'm talking about 90% of eligible voters would not show up. And the turnout was between 5 and 15%. I'm not virtue signaling that I showed up to vote. I'm actually telling you that people are too damn lazy to vote. They don't care. And that's why I was like, if it, it should be a challenge. Like, nobody should hand, you know, hold your hand. Find a way. They're like, oh, well, we ought to make it easier to do absentee ballots. I like it when it's hard. I've had to do an absentee ballot because I was supposed to be gone around the time of the election. And they changed my schedule when I was supposed to be traveling right afterwards, but I already sent in my ballot. And I think it should, it should be harder. And you know what? Maybe they don't need your vote. I've said that to plenty of people. So that to rednecks who have no business voting, because all they do is make emotional arguments. I've wrote in my own name because... I find all the people running detestable. I don't even like the school board most of the time. And you know what? I think homeschooling parents should stack the school board, but we need to go. That's another video for another time. Um, I, I've mentioned about making people wait in line. I've said I don't care if it's hot, cold, rainy, or whatever. And you know what? People are like, I don't want to go to the polls. I can't get off of work. And the thing is, you're, I think it's most law states have a law. that says they have to get an hour or two off to go vote. And you know what? I'm one of those people. I was like, I took off of work early and I sat a lot longer. It's what? 30, 45 minutes. The last time president, uh, former president Trump was running for reelection. And you know what? I was like, I'm sorry, your part of democracy takes a little work. And you know what? It's justifying a absentee ballot. It's getting your carcass to the polls. It's arranging a ride. It's being able to look at a ballot and figure out what's going on. It's filling it out correctly. It's, you know, making sure you're in the rolls to begin with. Looking at uh, even calling or going to the registrar's office. You're like, I don't have time for that. You don't have time to make sure that you can vote and participate in an election. Like, life isn't easy. And what was it, the representative democracy that we're supposed to have? It, it, it takes work, and a lot of you don't work. A lot of you are lazy. A lot of you make excuses. And I think you need to find a way and get off your rear ends and go vote. And and you know what? I mean, making you get an ID. You're lazy if you don't want to go get an ID. I was like, I'm making emotional pleas and ploys trying to get people to understand that life isn't easy. And to expect so low out of people, it takes it, it you're 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 actually you're actually selling people short in their abilities to to, to participate in everyday life. And, and we've given people the right. And now it's your responsibility. And it might take you getting off your rear end and learning something about candidates, about how to find a ride, how to call people, how to use mental functions. And if you're not smart enough to be able to do that, perhaps you shouldn't vote. And you know what? I'm no. We don't need a law that says you can't vote. We need. We need. We need you to just pony up and do your part. And you know what? If you really want to make a difference in this world, find a way. Push candidates. That's like third and fourth like level of of representative democracy here. And uh, it was like push candidates you like. Call people. Canvas. 
That's fourth. Third, I'm talking about supporting, calling, telling people, um, even though that's third and fourth there. Don't gig me on that. Second is learning and planning and learning, planning, uh, figuring out how you're going to do this logistics, reading a calendar, um, the bottom of the second and the first, everything from registering, you know, registration drives for other people, carpooling, holding signs, volunteering at a poll. It doesn't take that much. And, and, and you lie and you say you have too much time. You don't have enough time. I know some of you clowns watch enough reality TV to keep people in business. And you keep Holly weird folks in business. And these stupid jackass guys, the Duck Dynasty people. It Just get off your rear ends and live your life. It You, don't, you do have time and you're wasting the time you do have. Go vote. Figure out how to vote. Do the logistics. Get on with your life. And you know what? I'm, it might have nothing to do with the Arizona case, but it has a little bit to do with it. It's your responsibilities. There's rules. And it's to keep you from doing shenanigans. And you know what? They still screwed up in that state, even with the laws. And you know what? Do your part. Do your best. Get off your rear ends. Get on with your lives. Vote. Whatever. And if you don't vote, bless you. If you don't vote, you choose not to, out of laziness, you should be condemned. If you do it out of the fact that you don't like candidates and that you study your options and you feel like your option is to not vote or I call vote your feet, you know, bless you. It's just get on with our lives, folks. That's that's the, the thing about it. It don't don't say, oh, this is too hard on one party or another. Life sucks. I guarantee you, I was like, okay, boo-hoo, prostate cancer, yeah, skin cancer, killing, killing people like me all the time. Don't cry for me. Get on with your lives. Don't expect, don't give, don't give in that much. Don't, you know, charitable is one thing, but giving in to this victim mentality crap, no. All right, folks, thank you for stopping by. Uh, do, 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 do. Ooh, uh, let me see. That's uh, notifications, like, subscribe over there somewhere. Gab, Twitter, further down in the description. Feel free to visit the website. Ooh, hate email. If you don't like it, you can send hate email. Also, feel free to leave a comment. Even if I disagree with you, I, I thank you for stopping by. Uh, prefer you don't be too ugly and hateful and uh, threatening to uh, nuke Detroit or something weird like that. Or wanting to kill Chrissy Teigen like some of you have said. Please don't do it. But um, please get on with your lives. Please take care of yourselves. Love one another. Thank you.